quite the cast of characters up here. Give it up for the Sioux Surgeon coming in fashionably late. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, quite the variety of people on this panel. We've got sports, we've got fashion, we've got street ball. We, we have it all right here. So let's just kind of go down the line. Kimba, of course, all-star game tomorrow. You're having a great season so far with the Celtics. Talk to me about why you're having this really, really great year. I have great teammates. I have a great coaching staff who you know, just allow me to be who I am. They welcome me with open arms, and you know, it's been a it's been a blessing. You know, it's been fun, and that's the reason. Any Celtics fans in here? Yeah. yeah. Showing you some love. All right, now Sue Bird. I tell her this every time I work with her. I'm such a fan of her. She's the best, right? She really, really is. Now, Sue, you're great because obviously you're a player. You also hold a front office position. How do you manage both? <laughs> Two jobs. Um, <laughs> No, it's, it's actually, you know, you figure it out like anything, how to manage your time, how to, how to put it all together. I think the hardest part is like with the front office, you're kind of representing a franchise, but as a player, you're representing yourself. That's probably the hardest part to like keep going. Like, should I, wait, should, would, how would the front office feel if I did this? And I'm like, wait, this is the basketball player doing it. So that's the hardest part, but like, like anything, you figure it out. Yeah. What were some of the growing pains with that? Um... Like I said, like, you know, maybe sitting on a panel like this and it, you get asked a question, am I answering it like how I really feel? Yeah. Or am I answering it like, how would the Denver Nuggets like me to say something? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> kind of like that. So yeah, luckily they're super chill, so it's never really anything crazy, but you just have to have that in the back of your mind. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, streetball legend. I think everyone here has seen the N1 mixtapes, right? Yeah. We've all seen them. How has social media played such a pivotal role in your career? Oh, um, basically, uh, I went from, like, I don't even consider myself a street ball player now, since I went full on influencer as of 2009. So, yeah. social media itself changed my whole trajectory of my career. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, what are some of the differences between the two? Uh, well, you know, street ball back in the day, it's like the marketing was all in the, you know, all to the company to do, you know? So, you sign your endorsement deal and they do everything for you, you just kind of like play ball. So, now being in charge of my own ship, um, it's very strategic and we're just, you know, think about content year round. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, and the shoe surgeon, always the cleanest in the building. How did you get into sneakers? Uh, um, I got into sneakers freshman year of high school. My um, older cousin let me wear her original 1985 Jordan 1s. I didn't know what they were, but she let me wear them to high school. Or those to school and everyone was tripping. So, I mean, that's kind of what got me into it. And then it just evolved from there. Sounds good. All right, Professor, I'm going to put you on the spot with this one. You can't say Kimba, okay? No. Who tomorrow has the best handles? Oh, that's tough. Kimba. <laughs> yeah. People always ask me, you know. <laughs> so hard to say. I, I, think, I think people, namely, they go to Kyrie for the best handles. But I think, I think if I was to say who's the best handles in the NBA, you'd have to go one of five, six different ways. You could say Kemba, you could say James Harden, you could say Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, Kyrie, it's yeah. tough. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a fun one tomorrow for sure. Sue, you, you know you're next, you know you gotta answer. <laughs> the handles? <laughs> for tomorrow? Yeah. Just tomorrow, not Kemba? Not him, but James, not him. James Harden. I think oh, in that also. We got a James Harden. I heard you guys safe, yelling safe bet, his name. Safe bet. <laughs> okay, what about you? Uh, He's like Taylor. <laughs> For me, you can vote on yourself, bro. Maybe, 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 maybe Trey Young. Okay. Trae Young. Listen, I'm a Hawks fan. I'm gonna take that answer. I'm gonna take that answer. Okay, you're on the hot seat now. Tomorrow, I want you to give me. Three players that you're like, they're always clean, they're always dressed nice. Give me your three. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> no, I mean, I mean Le LeBron, of course. Um, these guys, Westbrook. And Kemba. And Kemba. 
Good yeah. answer. So when you're looking at fits, right, specifically sneakers, what is it that makes it pop to you? Is it that maybe they're vintage? Is it how it goes with the whole outfit? Like, what makes it special to you? Yeah, it's, and, and what's funny is a lot of people don't know this. It's not just sneakers. It's just shoes in general. Um, the first thing I do when, I, when I, I'm usually looking down at people's shoes and then it brings me up, whether it's a sneaker or whatnot, it's just if it's made well. Um, of course, yeah, if it's a, it's a good sneaker or a good shoe, you, I just know. Um, so it just if it's made well or it, it looks good. I mean, vintage, it just depends. It's, it's all different. What's your favorite shoe? Is that a hard one? I haven't made it yet. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I, I was with uh, Jeezy one night, and he was like, what's your favorite shoe? I said, what's your favorite song you did? So yeah. I said, then it, like, makes sense because it's, like, it's never-ending. I mean, yeah. what's your favorite play? You know, like, I mean, <laughs> it's the next one. <laughs> But actually, that is a good question, because I think that if someone asks your favorite play, you can name some UConn plays. I mean, you've had such big moments in your career. You maybe don't have a favorite, but what are some that come to mind? Um, no question, step back. No question. That's, that's an easy one. Um, <laughs> then I would say my crossover on Meritage. Um, <laughs> that's one that comes to mind. But yeah. I don't know. I, I, got a, I got a lot. I got a lot. You know, what was your, like, welcome to the NBA moment? Like, the moment you're like, all right, they're, they're different. Oh, uh, uh, my rookie year. Um, my rookie year, Darren Williams, he, he had 55 on, on my team, not me. But then I was looking at him like, oh, my God. Like, yeah, that was definitely my welcome to the NBA moment. Yeah. You know, he went to the best school, University of Illinois. You know, anybody in here <laughs> went to U of I? No, no, not in Chicago. <laughs> I did. ILL. Okay. We're the best. We're the best. All right. So what are some of your favorite all-star moments? When you just remember growing up, watching the game, what comes to mind? Uh, for myself? Yeah. For you? Like for the... some you saw? Yeah, yeah. Um, so one of my very first all-star games, uh, it was my second year. It was in New York. So we're playing in the garden. I'm from New York. So that, as it was, was like a huge moment. Um, but there was one play where my teammate was behind me. I threw it between my legs. She got the she got the hard layup. We'll call it a hard layup. Not a dunk, but we'll take it. Anyway, threw the legs to her trail, and, and, and she scored and got the and one. So that definitely, like I said, it was in the garden. I grew up going there, watching games. So that was, like, huge for me. Yeah, and the garden is very special. I know there's a lot of WNBA fans in here. Yeah. yeah. The best league. Um, tell me some players we should be paying attention to right now. Man. Um... Jewel, yeah, Chicago, LH, LH, from Longwood. Um, so I would say you have a ton in the Chicago sky, like Courtney Vandersloot, she's a point guard. I should hate her because she's my, my uh, enemy, I guess, but I really love watching her play. Um, she kills it. She's the type of player that could go out there and have like 20 and 10 easy with assists. Um, same thing, you have another young one on the come up, Diamond to Shields. I would keep my eye out for her. I'm just going to name all Chicago players. Um, but seriously, those are two, two really young, really good players. How have you seen kind of the WNBA evolve? Like playing, you've, you're a vet, you've seen it all. What's different now? Like real quick, WNBA has 12 teams, 12 roster spots. It's like survival of the fittest. So each year with a new draft class, it's just like you're kind of weeding everybody out, to be honest. So it's just like the level of play continued to grow. Um, for It took us a minute, but now it's like probably at an all-time high. Okay, very nice. Now, okay, to the professor. Do you, when you're watching a basketball game, what are you looking at? Like, what makes you like a player? Is it their flair? Like, because I assume you probably watch it a little differently than others. Yeah, I, th I think honestly it is. You know, I just want to be entertained. You know, I watch a game. So I think flair plays a big part. Uh, guys who are high skill, you know, yeah. Okay. So since we're here with JBL, you know, we got to talk some music. So I'm going to ask all of you guys, starting with you, what's on your playlist right now? I need to build the playlist. Um, St. John. I've just been uh, listening to St. John a lot. Um, and then uh, Ghost Loft. It's uh, like indie. So, I mean, I love music, all different types. It just it depends on how I feel. I've never heard of either. I got oh, yeah. to add them to mine. Y'all yep. know what he's talking about. <laughs> all right. I'm going I'm to listen, though. I like music. I'm from, anytime, anytime I'm from L.A., new. so we okay. listen to everything. Very nice. All right, what about you? 
Uh, I'm a little more old school, so lately I was just listening to that new Lil Wayne, Eminem. That's on my playlist. They like that. Yeah, I'm either like 90s hip hop or I've definitely been playing the new Eminem album like on repeat over and over. Um, all this 2.0 right now. I'm a big A Boogie fan, so yeah, that's what I'm listening to. Yeah, okay, before a game, what kind of mood are you getting in to really go off? All right, so pre-game when I'm in the house getting ready, I'm, I'm R&B. Like I'm really? Low-key. Yeah, calm before the storm kind of thing, you know? And then when I get my car, full blast, and I'm, I'm turned up. I'm listening to some future, you know, some fast-paced music, just something to get me hyped for the game, so. Okay, R&B like, like Jodeci, like. It's a, it's a playlist, so. Okay. I got. I got some Trey songs, some Chris Brown, some Carl Thomas, Johnny Gill, like some Anthony yeah, Hamilton, I'm, all that. Okay, it's, it's a playlist. Very nice. Yeah. What about you, Stu? Um, I'm actually I listen to more chill stuff too. Okay. Like I found when I was younger, like if I got too hype, that wasn't good. Um, but like when I drive to, when I drive the games at home, and then if we're on the road, like getting off the bus, the last song I listen to is actually off uh, Jay Z's Black album, my first song. It started, when, I don't know, it was 2004 Olympics is when that album came out, right? Thank you. And uh, that was like one of the final songs I heard and I just stuck with it. And it's like a song about treat everything like, you know, your first, like your last type vibe. So that's the last song I listened to for every game. Does, in what ways does music impact the things that you guys do? Do you listen to when you're creating? Yeah. Do you listen to it before you do anything? Yeah, no, uh, music for me played a uh, huge role because, I, you know, I'm sitting there working and, you know, I was listening to Dre, uh, Dre, everyone just listening to albums on repeat while I was just trying to like learn how to make shoes better. And it's just crazy how like the energy through that music uh, like just made me feel. And now I'm making shoes for these guys. So now they're, it's, it's reciprocating by the energy that I put through that product. And now they're, you know, buying the product. So it's just, it's just, it's so cool to, to, to be a part of it. Absolutely. What about you? That's hot. Yeah, I mean, I can be motivated by whatever I'm listening to, but I guess the way it weighs in uh, to my work is I'm listening to a lot of like instrumentals, you know, cause a lot of YouTube stuff, you need like some sort of background music. So if I hear something hot off like the new Lil Wayne album, I'll be like, oh, I want to be like that. I go out, try to go on my videos to make it pop. So I think the sound's just as important as the visual on a video. It's really underestimated. So that's how it weighs in with my work. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, last couple ones for you guys. What are you most excited for All Star Weekend tomorrow? Oh, um. Actually, I'm gonna be on the flight. So tonight, I'm going to the dunk contest. So look forward to that. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know, I'm gonna make everybody pick, but you started it. Who's gonna win? <sighs> Dwight Howard. You know, I just got told who was gonna be in it, and I only remember a couple guys. But I, th- I think Aaron Gordon yeah! might have to take that. Okay. They like that. They like that. <laughs> what are you most excited for? Man, right now. Right. Right now, I'm, I'm, we'll take it. Yeah, we got to be present in like just the moment, and then you know because you know we're here at, for All Star, and this is part of All Star. You know, we're with Kemba, and, and all of the all, all of this is just amazing to be. You know. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. Okay, but I'm still gonna make you pick. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna win the dunk contest and the three point? Um, I'm going. I'm going with. Uh, I'm going with Aaron Gordon as well. Um, I just think that. He's trying to redeem himself, and he's trying to get it, trying to get that that trophy. Um, three point contest. I'm gonna go with my little my little brother, uh, Devontae Graham. I'm okay. Going, going with him, so hopefully hopefully he show out. All right, Sue. Three point. I'm definitely going Devin Booker. He's mad. I agree. He's mad. Yeah, he's, he's like, trying, I he's trying been to win. Here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm definitely going with Book, and yeah. then the dunk contest. Um, Derek Jones Jr. I mean, okay. He, it's like he flies. It's nice. wild. So. Very nice. Well, y'all give it up for these all stars, all four of them. Yes. All right. Thank you guys so much for your time, as always. It was a pleasure. And thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank yeah. you.